this anthenol a quarter inch jack plug is really neat because uh, well it's right angled but I, what I like about it is there's actually lots of room here to make the connections um, so the, the wire gets put here and there's plenty of space here to actually make your soldered connections the braid can hook onto that area there before it gets soldered and then pliers can be used to secure the, the outer insulation and then this piece hooks onto here like that and then this um, barrel can then be screwed on onto the thread here and this is actually metal and so is this so to prevent any shorts they do supply a sleeve as well plastic sleeve so once everything's been soldered on as long as it's been threaded onto the wire this just gets pushed over and this part here um, just covers here so that this cap won't make any shorts with uh, with the metal connections there this part here is plastic um, but it's soft and so even thicker wires in the, the hole size there would be able to be pushed in there and if you really wanted to you could actually chop this off to put a really fat wire onto there this is a switchcraft model t97 stereo jack plug and I really like this because it's dead easy to use this because um, the, the the connectors have got nickel silver plating so it's extremely easy to solder the solder sticks really well to that and also if you look closely the insulators here um, they're kind of like fiberglass so very high insulation and there's fiberglass here too there's a sleeve so once you've done your soldering to the terminals and uh, crimp the, the insulation to this outer metal then you can put this insulation around it and this shell is all nickel as well I mean, it's really thick you could roll a tank over that it's not going to break and the hole at the back is quite large as well I think it's about six millimeters but I'll, I'll measure it and so yeah you can put a really fat cable in there if you wanted to I actually don't mind that this has not got strain relief on the outside uh, because obviously the wire is secured here anyway but if you did want to prevent the wire bending sharply at this edge here you could always put some heat shrink around here as well This three and a half millimeter stereo jack plug is a new trick part and it's got an all metal nickel shell and gold plating but it also comes in an uh, unplated and um, a plain nickel colored shell as well. Uh, this is rubber here for the strain relief and inside it's really great it's got this plastic for clamping the insulation and these two halves come apart like that quite interesting design and then this the point of this is uh, obviously to keep the, the soldered wires away from the metal shell and you can see it's even got a really tiny um, piece of plastic inside there to separate the left and right connections so this is really easy to solder as well because you know, everything's exposed out into the, in the open air and then once you've soldered it then you can apply this and then fit the shell on and here's one I did earlier so if I open that up I won't open it anymore but you can see how the clamping plastic worked and I think it looks really neat if I plug it in it's 
quite a nice design. This three and a half millimeter stereo jack plug is a Rian branded part and it's quite a traditional design really, just a straight three and a half millimeter jack plug um, with the holes for soldering the wires and it comes with this sleeve as well for protecting everything away from the metal sleeve so this is all entirely metal. Um, personally I find these awkward to use uh, often often there isn't enough room to put this on after you've soldered wires onto here um, but there is a solution I, I end up using just captain tape because this is really fine really thin and it's heat resistant so what I'll do is I'll solder the left and right connections here and then using a pair of tweezers I'll pass the captain tape through and just insulate each connection uh, and then I'll make the final connection to the sleeve and the heat from the soldering iron won't damage this because it's high temperature and because the tape is so thin then it's really easy to then just to pass the the metal shell onto the uh, onto the jack plug body without using this thing This is a Rian stereo jack socket, 3.5mm, and again it's all metal shell. I don't really like the plastic ones because they're not fully screened, so they're not great for use with microphones for example. Um, and this just two, two parts and a uh, sleeve as well. This actually comes in two variants, so there's one with a BG suffix and that's got a black plated shell and gold plating on the actual connector. Uh, but other than that, they're identical. And with these, if there's not enough room to put this shell on, uh, I, I just use Captain Tape. Um, it's, it's easier, I find it a lot, lot more simpler just to use that for the insulation. Here's one I made up earlier. So I used a plain nickel uh, coloured one and the other end just happens to be a, a stereo jack plug. So I can plug in headphones as an example. 